Welcome to another fabulous week in the month of March. I hope you all are enjoying the week. Don't get pressure, just relax and trust me to bring you trending gossip on Africonia TV. My name is AY with the double O and I'm your host with the gist. Let's get started. Reality TV star Natasha Akide, popularly known as Tarche, shook the internet with dazzling photos of herself to celebrate International Women's Day. Tarche in a message celebrates women who are movers, makers, hustlers, shakers, and those who stand firm or quietly move on. She said, and I quote, to all the movers, the makers, the hustlers, the shakers, and to those who shout out loud, who stand strong, and when needed, those who quietly move on, to those who build empires, push boundaries, raise babies, make memories, and refuse to take no for an answer, you are ladies paving the way for a new generation. Happy International Women's Day. Tata is coming for you all. She's coming in real hot. Moving on, there's more drama as Messi Ibe's marriage, you know, to back a TV CEO, com film promoter, and marketer Kazim Adioti. Messi Ibe sparked an opera on social media following a fetish TikTok video that March, where she was clad in a red wrapper and challenged her haters to come direct for her rather than going through the corners. Messi has told you guys to stop cutting corners, say it to her right in front of her. Messi Ibe is at the end of it for throws who dragged her over the fetish TikTok video. In the video, she said, and I quote, if you want to challenge me, challenge me direct. Don't go through the corners. End of quote. Now, reacting to this video, most of Messi Ibe's fans expressed disapproval over the TikTok video, while some fans were worried about Kazim Adioti's first wife and family, thinking the video might be for her. You guys really need to calm down with this lady. I mean, ever since I married to Kazim, she keeps getting thrown over and over again. She's not the first person who used to be a second wife. And I think because she's a celebrity, that's why, you know, there's so much drama surrounding it. Meanwhile, self-acclaimed queen of Nigerian cross-dresses Idris Okunaye otherwise known as Wabriski, has continued to form marriage rumors with his cooking skills. The quite outspoken male baby, Bobriski took to his Instagram page to enlighten his fans on why his marriage has been delayed. He urged fans to pray for him as his choice of husband is still married and yet to divorce his wife. Hmm. He said, and I quote, Many of you are asking, when are you getting married, Bob? The man I love is married, but I'm waiting for him to divorce his wife so we can get married. I don't know how long it will take, but very soon. Pray for her so the divorce process can be fast. End of quote. However, following the revelation of his future husband, Bob Risi continues to foil his marriage rumors with his cooking skills, which according to his fans, is not perfect. Now, wahala for Wugo chop Bob Risky's food. Oh. The cross-dresser shared a video of himself preparing food for his soon-to-be-unknown husband. In other news, there's a new twist to the recent rape allegation leveled against American singer Chris Brown following a new revelation. Now, a lady simply identified as Jane Doe has accused the music star of raping her at a yacht outside P. Diddy's home in 2020. But text messages reportedly obtained by Miami police paint a completely different picture. According to Radar, the lady sent explicit text messages to Brown days after the alleged assault. The woman sent nude selfies and told Brown that it was the best dick she has ever had. The message also revealed how Brown suggested that the woman gets a plan B to prevent a possible pregnancy to which she said, oh shit, okay, I will. Brown replied, I definitely didn't bust inside you, so I wanted to be sure. Jane Doe is alleged to have moved to Los Angeles days after the assault. She made attempts to hook up with the music star over four times after their first encounter. These new revelations are coming weeks after she filed a $20 million suit against the music star. And finally, Ukrainian star actor and TV host Pashili has died while defending his country from Russian troops. According to a Facebook post by Sergei Tomilenko, president of Ukraine's National Union of Journalists, Lee died from shelling in Arpen while defending his country. Prior to his tragic death, the actor who had reportedly joined the Territorial Defense Forces last week had kept his fans updated via Instagram with photos of himself in army regalia and comments about unifying to fight the invasion. May his soul rest in peace. And this is where I draw the curtains and blow you guys a kiss on AF Trends. If you have any comments for us, please drop it for us in the comments section. Stay connected for more updates. Follow us on all our social media platforms and hit the like button if you love this video. Stay connected for more updates. My name is AY with the double O and I'll do this again in the next episode.